welcome back so like i said in the last video that the questions from this video are going to be very important and they'll be a little elaborate as well right so in today's video i'm going to cover a very common question that features in exam is mounting a secret or a config map onto the pod right so you can get either of them uh, whether they'll give you to create a secret and then mount it on a pod right or you would get a config map so you would actually have to create a config map and mount it on the pod so I'll show you the process for secret. Uh, the process is very same for the config map as well. And it is actually available in the documentation. So in case you get stuck, just refer to the doc, all right? So let's get started. So here we have our cluster. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually going to create my secret. And you can do that using kubectl. In exam, uh, the probability is that they would actually give you a YAML file to create a secret so you just have to do kubectl apply right and the secret would be created uh, but for this video i'm going to create a secret kubectl create secret and this would be a generic type right and from literal so i would have two values in my secret a username which would be equal to admin oh no when name is required got zero yeah so kubectl thank god it got wrong because i wanted to actually put username and admin in the same command but yeah no matter so i would give this secret a name called my secret that i forgot and that is what it's complaining about so i didn't give it a name so i just give it the name my secret and now from literal username so first value would be username and the second value not field manager from would be password and I would call it admin right so username and password are both admin admin and the name of the secret is my secret let's create it secret is created clear the screen now let's quickly create a YAML file for our pod so kubectl run I'll call this pod as web and image it will use as nginx and try run yaml and we'll just redirect it to pod.yaml now let's look at pod.yaml and let's fix few things so the things we don't need i'll just get rid of those right and now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to set the uh, secrets which I've just created into the environment variables, right? So let's quickly do that. So in order to set environment variable, env uh, name. So I would set this as username, and the value would come from actually a secret. So value from one two three. Just remember three spaces. Uh, to keep your yaml formatted right so you don't uh, mess up your yaml and secret key ref and again one two three so name of the secret was my secret and the key which i wanted to refer was username right username similarly I would have another value for name as password or well, let's do this app underscore password right again value from secret key ref and all this you can get in the kubernetes documentation right so it's not that i have remembered this i'm just getting it from the documentation name my secret and key would be what was the key i think the key was password right so password and 
now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a volume mount right so let's be sure that our YAML is right let's let me just yeah all right so in order to so I'm creating volume mount right now I'll create the volume just after this right so don't you don't have to worry about that uh, volume no. volume mounts name I would give it my seek red volume so mount path where do we so this would actually be given in the question uh, for the uh, video sake I'm just going to mount it on temp and I'll call it secret app secret uh, app secret yeah this is fine and we'll make this read only true right so now I'm going to create a volume okay so let's just be sure volumes name of the volume you can give any name so my or I'll just call it secret volume because I've already used my secret volume and this would be a secret and secret name it was my secret right so I think that's pretty much it for our pod let's see I mean if we'll create we'll get to know if we have made any mistakes so kubectl apply pod.yaml and yes volume mounts so I think something I have done wrong with volume mounts okay let's see vi okay yes so you can see it's under environment which is not valid so let's just bring it outside Right, let's see. Volume mounts. And I think, let me just check the documentation. I think yeah, this is not required with volume mounts. And this should be good, but let's make the formatting correct so this is the only thing you have to worry about when you have a big yaml to work with right the formatting because you won't have yaml lint available so yeah now let's see not found my secret wall why did i change the name Oh yes sorry so this is actually the name of the volume I thought it is the name of the volume mounts my bad yeah so secret wall secret wall I hope you got that oh, what was wrong because in under the word because I forgot actually this my my bad my mistake this name is actually the name of the volume which you're going to create right let's try once again and our pod is created kubectl pods it's running okay so let's do cube 
CTL exec web and I want to exec env and I want to grab hyphen i for let's grab for username so you can see username which we set in our secret is admin great let's search for password and we have app password also as admin so our secret is actually created and well mounted in our pod all right so that's pretty much it for this video that's all i wanted to cover uh, next video i think i'll probably be doing uh, uh, hcd backup and restore so that is going to be another important video so please do check that out uh, for this video that's pretty much it i hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving please do comment if you want any improvement or if you want me to cover any specific topic in kubernetes right i'll be happy to do that yeah and please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching